How's it going everyone? My name is Henry Plays and welcome back to Incredibox and today we're with a long requested Incredibox mod. This is Monochrome and this is made by an individual named Mr. Error and probably a bunch of other people again. So as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to check the description below for the download link as well as the YouTube video that leads to the mod. Without further ado, this is Monochrome right here. As you can see, it's, it looks very similar from the get-go to Orin Ao. So if I just go into it, we can see all of these uh, creepy polos right here that's in front of my face. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but let's get right in. As always, we know that, oh, there is a bonus in this one as well. That's a pleasant surprise. You know what? I love pleasant surprises and I love bonuses. Without further ado, five beats, five effects, five melodies, and six voices unless this is a secret because there's also secret polos in some of these okay first beat let's get started again with the nipples i like it he's also got a bomb strapped to his chest did you see that that is crazy but beat two interesting are those ribs is that a spine what is that also looks like a tree weirdly enough very creepy though you guys have got to agree so far the first two polos were insanely creepy beat free let's go we're speeding through them today the character designs really remind me of orin ao for some reason it's Sid the Sloth. <laughs> With a really long nose. I do like the hi-hat though. The open hi-hat, the closed. I, I don't know if it's closed or open. Okay, either way. Very funny looking character design. The longest nose, possibly. Out of any Incredibox character that I've ever seen. And probably the the furthest eyes. It's like having eyes at the top of your 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 forehead here. Fourth beat. Is that a nail or a button or in his head? And it's like bouncing into his head. That's painful. Is that blood as well? Like just. Very weird beat as well, by the way. I just have to mention that. And he's also a part of the bonus, so. Like, how do you come up with this design? <laughs> I guess it's just a nail in his head and it's just get going into his head. I don't know how, but I guess it just is. Don't question it. Beat five. This is the coolest beat. Okay, hands down. Coolest looking beat. The TV screen with the cable missing. Anonymous and crap. Bro, I think there's... I think there's ghosts inside of my house. Because my, my door just opened by itself. They yeah, are very cool polar design with all the different references to stuff like Anonymous. And uh, wanted posters. That mouth cavity looked really bloody awful. I hope I never get to see that again. But yeah, that was all the beats. So far, I'm going to give the beats a whopping... 7 or 8 out of 10. I think that's fair. Is that fair? Come on, that's got to be fair. The beats are very... In terms of the polos, the polos are very creative. They're very creepy. Uh, it's just the sounds, right? The sounds could be a bit better and more creative for the for the beats, at least anyway. Because a lot of them do sound the same. They do sound pretty similar to each other. So a bit more variation would have given that a higher rating from me, I think. Okay, effects. This is where the spooks could come really come into play. Oh, bass. Thank you. 
I do like that base. Tell you what. Ooh, the ending there where it got really low. Really low, really dark. I like that so much. I, f I thought I said no more mouth cavities. Oh, he is... Hands down, thumbnail. Right there, thumbnail. Creepiest polo I've ever seen. And the weirdest one as well. Why has he got all these monitors, like, hooked up to him? The sounds also make a lot of sense to the polo. Very fitting with all the screens glitching out and making that sound. And him trying to breathe because he just can't. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I just got caught in 4K. Please. No. Not, not, not the allegations. A bold Incredibox polo as well, by the way. I mean, it sounds like a sonar, in a way. With the boop, 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 boop. And then the f the camera. Very cool again. Very cool. So far the effects, I love them. I love them. The bass, the TV doodad, and the whatever that is, the camera. I'm just going to call him camera guy. It's a robot with teeth. That's not going to give me nightmares at all. It's just a regular alarm sound, isn't it? And as you can see, it happens only in the second half of each loop. I wish it kind of bugged out in the second loop, like, you know, but that's just me. Oh, is this the guy that was on the, um, the main page? The main page? It very well could have been. But yeah, let's, let's check that out. Speak to me. What have you got to say? I'm good. I'm good on that. Okay, that left me speechless, actually. That was very terrifying. Like, the way he's, his, like, whole half of the body is a shadow and stuff. And the sounds he was making are just very weird and unique. It's like a glitched breathing sound mixed with, like, I don't know, just very glitchy sounding. It's weird. Almost sounds like a, you know, the... Is it the Mandela catalog that had all the alternates and stuff like that? Definitely just gave off those vibes right there. All right, melodies. They could either make or break this as well. So if the melodies are good, then I'm happy. I'm a happy man. I could sleep well tonight. Let's go. I'm just going to say it. That is gruesome. The melody is very cool, though. Is that like... Is that like, you know, those speakers that they have in, like, prisons or something? Is that a speaker legit just jammed up his jaw? Because that is some crazy imagery right there. Okay. That's a good variation. It's the same melody, just broken down. Very weird design as well. Also, can we just... Quickly talk about the background here? The background is very, like... Alternate, almost, with the whole TV Lions effect. And they're kind of like coming out of the screen, the polos. I'm not sure if that's the ce exact scenery they were going for, but it really gives off that vibe. Oh. You can make like a rapper beat with this. 
Hopefully one of the voices does that, you know, what I just did. Very creepy again, the polo's head is on a, like a telephone pole or something. Alright, fourth one. Fourth one. Okay. The sound? Very good. Polar design? What the hell were you thinking? What is this? Why is his brain on display? Same with his eyeball, it's just dangling down. Like he doesn't have a skull. It's just so weird how peaceful that melody is compared to what's actually shown. <laughs> it's very, you know, contradictory, I think I want to say, to what's actually happening. My right, final melody. It's like a priest hat or something, so I'm going to assume it is some kind of religious. But the cross is upside down, so it's more of an antichrist. Yeah. It's a zombie priest. Zombie anti-Christ priest. I love organs, you, you already know. I do wonder how well the melodies are going to stack with each other though. Very dark melody, I love it. Love the sound of it. Alright, voices and whatever this is at the end. Anonymous. The mouth is super detailed. That's just creepy. Also, the reverb is sick. I, I enjoyed that. I enjoy when the reverb is well made. At 9.47 a.m. Mountain time, a disaster of online type has occurred at the research facility, causing significant Oh, yeah. This is 100% giving off alternate vibes right here. God damn. 9.47, was it? The damage in the facility? Crazy. Okay, the most unique polo I've ever seen. Okay. It reminds me of like... The Flash games back in the day. Okay, enough of screaming for now. Is that lipstick or is that a bullet? I'm... I hope it's a lipstick, but it's probably a bullet. No! No! Okay. I mean, what went through no, your head? No. A bullet. <laughs> That's what. No, no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> vibes. Creepy ass motherfucker. Get out of my screen. Alright, is this a voice as well then? Because otherwise it would be somewhere else if it, if it was something else. Okay, I want to be able to sleep at night tonight. Thank you very much for that. Okay, now, the bonus is next. Just talking about all the polos in general, very creative. This one is probably the most unique one I've seen. Just really well animated. The expressions are really cool. But, flipping out, this mod is going to be an absolute nightmare to work with. Quite literally a nightmare, though. Alright, let's see how they kind of sound together now. In the bonus. Ooh. That combo is really good. All 
right, here we go. Bonus. Three, two, one. Let's go. Work in progress. Wait, really? Is it is it not even complete yet? Oh, guess it isn't complete yet. Let me just listen to how this sounds then. Sounded really good though, I'll give you I'll give you that. But I reckon what you should have done if you are watching this and you did make this is if the bonus isn't complete, just don't show it there until it's updated. Um because otherwise it's obviously just gonna throw everyone off, right? I'd rather it just not be there and just be there when it's fully finished rather than just like this where it's there. But you can only hear the sounds and it's not really animated or finished yet. Uh, but so far, I mean, the combination of the sounds is really good. The mod is very good visually. And sound-wise, actually. Oddly enough, usually it's really hard to combine horror with good sounds in Incredibox. But it does it well. It's probably up there with, like, Express somewhere around there. Again, very good mod than the masks as well. It's probably a bit lower than that, but it's a great mod. I love the character designs there. Again, not going to let me sleep at night. But as always, we're on the road to 10k people. So if you enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe and comment down below if you thoughts. smash the like button. It would really help out the channel a lot. And um, 97 or more. <laughs> percent of you are not subscribed like what are you doing if you enjoy the video please just subscribe it's just a button a red button just press on it for me and without further ado let's just get right into the mix i'll see you guys there
And that was Monochrome. That was a crazy, crazy mix, by the way. Crazy mix. Surprisingly worked really well with every single polo. I haven't, I don't think I even missed out on a single polo. I've used every single one in the bloody mod. And I came up with some really interesting combinations as I went along. I think I did cook. By the way, whenever I make these mixes, I go into them blind. Like, I fully just send it. So, because that's usually an implication that you can just make it go in straight away and just make a mix. Which is what I love about some of these mods. This is what makes a quality mod. Being able to just hop in and just make straight fire right off the bat. And that's what makes a good mod. And in this case, it worked as well. So it's a very good mod. Very good mod overall. An 8 or a 9 out of 10 from me. Like for sure, for sure. The only thing that that's missing again is probably a bit more variation in the beats. So that when I have a drop, I really have like something... That hits really hard within the beats, and but nothing really did that. So that's where that one point really just kind of falls off. Apart from that, I love the mod very much. I'm glad <laughs> all of you recommended this to me because it was an insane and amazing mod. Um, again, I just want to be able to see that bonus next time as well. And as always, I'll leave the links down below in the description for all of you to try this out. It's both on PC and mobile, so you can go ahead and just download that. But besides that, make sure you subscribe again because we want that 10k. We're very close. Comment down below your thoughts about the mod. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Is it cheesy? Is it overhyped? Is it hyped up? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? And as always, leave the like button just smash that like button for me but apart from that i'll make sure to see you guys in the next video peace out